Hello, Andrea here again, wanting to show you how to find some pre-recorded lessons that might be useful to you during this time of distance learning. So I'm going to iReady through Clever, and as it loads, I'm going into Assess and Teach again. This is where you find a lot of great resources. Here on Resources, you find the Teacher Toolbox. Well, I click here, and I just discovered something new that I thought me, might be of interest to all of you. So as I click here, most of us are familiar with this. I can click here on my lesson one and see all these resources and assessments and various things. But up here today or yesterday, I noticed this extra thing that I had not noticed before. It's called Develop Session Video Library. It's a special resource I believe they made in Ready Math just for distance learning. So it says right here, it's a new resource that's created to support your instructional needs when students are learning at home. So for example, I clicked on grade five, and here I found all these resources, like basically pre-made lessons you might wanna use as a flipped classroom model, or you could use possibly for reteach. I know some of them are a little difficult as my unit is about volume and it's telling them maybe they have unit cubes at home, which they don't. But all I have to do is click here. If I'm focusing on lesson one, I see session two has a recorded lesson. And I believe that they're probably adding on to this as we speak. So I click here, right here, I see a whole classroom, a whole session that was made for my grade level. So if I click through it, I see review, I see some student practice, and I know some of us are finding it hard to teach lessons online without manipulatives and maybe without an Elmo or something like that. So this kind of gives an extra resource that might be of interest if you're looking for um, something that's already recorded to do with your students about the content. And in addition to that, I also wanted to point out that there's a interactive practice available. So if you click here on assess and teach and you go into instruction, Lacey also pointed this out to me, so I have to give her credit. But if I go to instruction, I see here to interactive practice, I can click math. These are really simple extra practice you can assign to students. So I'm on lesson one. I see there's only one extra practice for lesson one that's available. If I click here, it's going to give me a preview of it. And here it will show me exactly what it's covering and the standards. And I can see exactly what students will be assigned if I click through this. What is and the of this prism? Enter the number of cubes that make up this prism. The great thing is that it gives students immediate feedback. So say right here, I were to type in five, which is incorrect. I press done. It's going to tell me I was incorrect. So a reason I like that is because a lot of students aren't getting immediate feedback as they're working in their workbook or maybe in online version of a worksheet. They're not knowing if they're correct. And so this is one way you can utilize an extra resource on Ready Classroom. Thank you so much, Lacey. This has been so helpful, and I hope it's helpful to the rest of you out there as well. If you also want to find any of the, you can't actually tell how they do on this um, interactive practice, but you can how, tell, in fact, how they do on their comprehension checks. So I forgot to mention this in the first video, but if you go to reports and then comprehension check, you'll see how they did the status and then their results. It tells you exactly how each student did. So I'll pull up my report here. It even tells me question one people um, struggled with. It tells me overall the average score was 75 on this particular check. You can see I've assigned multiple checks so I can scroll through and see which one I want the data on. But here it tells me that this student here missed the second one. As I go down, it's telling me this person partially understood number four, but not fully. So you can see how helpful that would be as a teacher going through um, distance learning and wanting to find a quick way to assess student needs. Thanks, that's all for now.